Well, feller needs socks. We know where to go. I have got the socks covered. I may not have your the, the boots, but I have got the socks. <laughs> Y'all must have got the shipments in for the socks for sure. Uh, I've got a lot of shipments in the last couple. Um, I guess I got a big shipment in the middle of last week. I guess it come in Monday-ish to it, Tuesday-ish. Uh, it come split, and then I got another big order in uh, yesterday. I don't, I, don't even, I don't even have it on here yet because I, I'm checking it in, making sure everything's there, making sure quantity's right. Um, the socks were a part of it, so I did bring them out, and then there's a couple of things, but uh, just looking around the truck, you'll see that everything is changed up full. Uh, I've got a drawer here that's full of stuff that I hadn't even been able to stock yet from the last order. Holy so smoke. We will definitely have some inventory for everybody. Uh, we... Uh, been running contests this week and they've been going good so well i noticed some signs up here with free girl scout cookies like, yeah i don't know what you got to do to get a free girl scout cookie but i'm in <laughs> so <laughs> what we're doing this week is uh we're giving a free girl scout cookie you get a free box for a credit application now on that credit application it is a soft inquiry so it doesn't hurt your quick credit um approved denied i don't care you're getting a box of cookies you did what you were supposed to do you put it in the computer um, we've had a lot of people who didn't even know they had credit approved. They're super happy about that. And then we have a lot of people that didn't know that their credit was as good as it was. Now, it don't tell me a score. All it tells me is well, approved. If a fellow's already got credit, can he just buy the cookies then? We, we have done that because <laughs> there has been a couple people that um, we had sold a box last week, last Friday. And, I mean, that, that guy today is going to be like, look, I just I, I can't run a credit application. I just done it. Yeah. So he, if he wants some, we're going to get him some for sure. Um, but other people who've already got a credit application that they already know they're approved, there's no sense in running it, we'll sell them a thing of cookies. Sweet. That's fine with me. Well, I got to introduce our special guest today. He's back here shopping. You guys know him. Y'all seen him a bunch. Mr. Andy, Tailgate Tech. So if you're not subscribed to his YouTube channel, go check it out. And uh, you'll see the coolest truck you'll ever see full of tools. One of these days I'll have another video. That's it. Well... I see you got a lot of new tools, so show us some stuff. We do. Uh, I think the most popular one right now that I can think of is going to be the wrench I'm, holders. I noticed that when I walked in. Those um, are super that's cool. That's the first thing he noticed as well. Um, you did a good job. Product placement's <laughs> key, and you, you nailed it. I'm that. not Well, I'm not going to take the credit for that. That's um, really nice. Leslie, so Leslie does that. She I'll usually organize the truck, and then she comes up with these nice little ways to to put stuff there. So... I like the looks of that. They did a good job putting the logo in there. They did, and they do have blue. Um, he had asked if that's the only color right now. Up until probably Wednesday, I thought it was, and somebody's like, hey, I want the blue one. I'm like, right, we don't have a blue one. They're like, yeah, you do. Here it is. And I'm like, oh, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> there you go. I got it ordered for you. So yeah, we do We do have blue. Um, they sold super quick, so I haven't got any in. I'm sure um, that they... We're gonna be on back order for a little bit, but they also have a four piece extension on that. So there's 12 there, and mm -hmm. then you can add the extension to put four more on there. That way, if you've got some of the bigger sets, uh, it just gives you more room to have them all there. I like it. I like that it has magnets on the back mm -hmm. of it too. And it's not, you know, sometimes they do just one magnet, not on this one. So it's actually gonna have oh, yeah. magnets all the way through so that you have plenty of hold. And if, if you look, uh, this is the top part of it. It's gonna have more because when you start skipping here, you're not gonna hold as well there. So the heavy wrenches need to be up at the top so right. that we, we get them nice and held and nothing starts falling. Uh, these are definitely gonna fall at some point today because uh, our roads suck and I've just got little bitty metal plates back there so it probably won't hold too well. But people putting them on their boxes, they're doing really nice. They're putting awesome. them on their roll cock cart, their lids and stuff, which I think is awesome because if I ain't gotta open a drawer and it's all organized there, that's even better. Yeah, uh, they look good, man. I love the looks of them. They did a good job on that. But we also, um, the cups for the cups. bolts yeah they did real good on the marketing name for that mm -hmm. but uh I've, I've got them in now i have a lot of people interested in them as well so those are great to put on the side of your lift when you're doing 
taking wheels off yeah. you can just chunk your lug nuts right there and they, well see and i've had to explain that a couple of times because everybody wants to, to look at it and they're like why is it crooked why yeah. I, it's, they're going to spill out and it's like no 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 you got to think mm -hmm. this so i'll put it on the side of the car no not on the side of the car you're yeah. putting it on the lift this is this is when you're doing the underneath whether it be the rack and pinion drive shaft you know you got four plus the two carrier or something's got even more than that but also transmission and stuff like that mm -hmm. uh, you know oil pan gaskets any of that that's just throw them in here yep. with this plastic be nice to what you know clean it out and go again easy peasy so I got two on each side of mine you know two on the front side of the lift two on the back yeah. that way you can keep your lug nuts in there when you're doing brake jobs you can put all the parts yep. in that one one thing well i mean you also great. i guess if you had one on each side you could also put lug nuts as well mm -hmm. um how many times have you put them on the the, the lift arm they and then next off. thing you know they fall off and you're chasing them and <laughs> they're uh, always going to go under the toolbox too every time so yeah. you have to get down and crawl up under there well i can see if you had those you had your wrench holder and then you also had the the ones that we sell that hold the sockets too just think about the capability mm -hmm. of being able to stay at the car not walking away yep. um, now with the wrenches and stuff you would have to be a little bit more careful not to sit there and knock them off constantly because they are going to stick out but you, i think you'd learn too that they were there for a reason and they wouldn't be falling so that's yeah, right yeah i noticed on the wrench holder it's fairly flexible it is are the magnets on the back side recessed so like if you put that on the fender it's not going to scratch it up uh we'll look and see good question andy so they they're yeah i mean they're pretty much right there at it i mean they're they're not sunk down in there real far but they're also not sticking out so it's not just huge magnets sitting there um so probably if you threw that through like a piece of painter's tape or something over yeah the back side of that you could toss that on the side of a fender or something and contour yeah definitely to it. yeah painter's tape definitely ain't gonna hurt it because this has got an actual thicker piece of plastic behind it yeah so it's definitely gonna stick with that there i'm not a big fan of sticking stuff on cars just for the fact that uh i've seen a lot of the I'm not afraid with that damage in it, but somebody's going to come and try to lean on it and it's going to push the wrench right into the paint. Mm -hmm. um, that's just one of the things at the dealerships. People, that's, you'll be working on it. Somebody will come and lean on it and talk to you. Uh, that's nice. A big beefy joker, ain't it? I like that one. Is it rechargeable or corded it, only? No, it's rechargeable. Sweet. Nice looking light, too. We, uh, is that a removable battery rechargeable or uh, no it charges by the cord you okay. plug it in and we uh we leave them plugged up because we normally leave them on all day so it catches people's eyes but i mean you don't have to well, that's nice. it's nice not to have to pull that cord over and about and around but what we, what else you got new well we have the um, it's actually in our sales flyer this week. It's the on the promo shelf. There's a that light up speaker, so it actually changes colors and uh, it's got a remote control, so it'll change all the colors and stuff like that. Oh, cool, dude! I'm gonna tell you that water bottle speaker thing y'all got. Yeah. It is. It amazes how good that thing sounds. It right. works good, man. Yeah, we got one left, so that thing was cool. They've sold really well. That's pretty neat looking right there. So it's got all different colors, huh? That's it. Yeah, it's got a remote control, got all kind of different colors. I had it plugged up, but it's kind of hard to see with all the lights on, especially when we got the underhood lights on and the night on too. It's it's kind of hard to see, but Andy, that's what you need for the meetup when Tito comes. Tito got deported. <laughs> Tito's done, huh? Tito's done. <laughs> we also went ahead and we got um, a 2S with the hutch on there. Oh yeah. If you'll notice that hutch is a lot taller than what the 4S hutch was. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives you a lot more room in there. It looks good. With the, the depth on the 2S series? I believe it's 25. So they're putting lights in them from the factory or is that like an add-on? No, we added that on. I actually got that from another distributor because um, I sold a box and didn't have one and he had a couple extra so and that's a good we, looking box with that hutch on there. That'll I've had a couple lot of side of lockers on them and he'll be ready, man. Side lockers and, and, and that hutch, you're ready to go. And it does have the two full length drawers at the top. That's nice to have. So how much cheaper is, let's say, the 2S versus the 4S versus the 6S? Let me just type it in and see. 
I mean, you just like, is it like 20% cheaper or? I'm not that good with math. Um, there's going to there's gonna be. Um, is it a lot of difference? Yeah, there's going to be. You're definitely going to see the difference. Because I know that 6S, man, is about the perfect box. Yeah. It's, the 6S is going to be. But you gotta, you've also got to take into account. There is, there is a pretty good amount of money in the box difference, but there's also a lot of different moving parts and stuff like that that's different as well. I mean, you're going to have a district, different casters. You're going to have different tops on it. You're, um, the way that the molding and stuff, the way the bends are, are different. Mm -hmm. um, as whereas well these don't have the color molding on the front. Uh, it has color molding on the front on those, but that's because it's a little different in the way that it's formed there as well. Uh, the way the plug plugs into the back is different, and on the inside. So those plug like a computer plug. So if you move it, yeah, it'll jerk it out instead of like mine where it runs through. Yep, that's box. that's new on the 4S too. They're going to that. They're taking some of the the Revel features that have been on our Revel for a while, and they're moving it into our other boxes mm -hmm. um, because it's the features that everybody likes. So I on like the that, and that way, if you ever damage the cord, you can just buy the cord. Right. Well, remember and that's, how hard that power strip is to take out yeah. of that box. Woo. So with the new 4S, that's actually the, the they on the back. Not only is it um, the removable plug like you're talking about, it's actually got plugs back there as well. So oh, if nice. you've got a hutch on top and you've got stuff on top, instead of having to run it down, mm -hmm. um, because that's a long way from there to usually where your plugs are. They're yeah. usually what well, and shops are a little higher, but you can run it and plug it into the back of the box. But also inside, you open that drawer, you pull it out, there's a USB up behind there. There's not on the 2S, but instead of, it has the USB in, in here, but right back here, you can plug your phone in here and lay it down yeah, and you're good. That's a great idea. So, but they, the, they really stepped the four up. It, I have a lot of people going, well, it looks the same. Well, it does not it don't. Um, it don't look the same to me because it's got colored trim on the front now. It's mm -hmm. got the, the plug, it's got a tool holder in the power drawer. Now, instead of just having the power strip, they raise the power, they raise the power strip up and put a tool holder in there so that you've got your electric tools place to put them in there. That's a good idea too. Um, they, did it, they, did a, they did several different things on it. Um, I was definitely impressed with it. Man, that's a really, really nice box right there. I like the bigger hutch. I like the way. It's a really I, good color too. Yeah, it is. I don't I did, normally I'm, have two of the same color on here. That just happened to be that way. Like I said, I ended up getting that box from a different distributor, but um, if it was gonna be any color, I'm glad it was that color. I'll tell you what I'm proud they did too, is here, the way they cut that out, and that way you can get stuff off. Yep. Cause that's the only thing I've noticed about my box. It's got that lip. That lip, yep. And um, makes it a little harder to get well, that off. And, and they're, they've got a lot of different um, talks going on on ways to send out a bunch of surveys and stuff about changes to make the boxes different, better. Um, I know at Expo a lot of distributors were wanting them to uh, install the shelves in the locker different uh, and they said they were going to send out a survey and see what the thoughts on that because you know right now they come to where it's like you sit something on top but there's no ledge to hold anything mm -hmm. and they're actually talking about being able to flip them over and it be designed that way that way it can hold it and everything right. else that way nothing's sliding out now you're putting Kate you're stacking cases up in there and can pull it out and stuff like that but well uh, I don't want to miss the 80 series roll cart because those are cool yeah those are pretty awesome they've been going pretty quick uh, it was a limited time run so if you're lucky enough to have one, uh, that's cool. Well, a lot of people asking about those too. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut this thing off, and we're gonna get a little shopping done and some Girl Scout cookies and get going for the day. Like always, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Just press it. You guys have a great week. See ya.